everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. I know I have not posted in such a long time. Unfortunately, I have been in a reading slump for like two, three months now and I have read like a couple of manga and that's it. So I haven't been making any reading content because I'm not reading. So that is the one unfortunate thing about this channel is that if I'm not reading, I'm not making videos. I do have an exciting video today. You guys love my e-reader unboxings. I love watching e-reader unboxings. And fortunately for me and for you, I had a company reach out to me and ask me to review their colored e-reader. Um, I believe that this is compared to the book's page when it comes to like the size. I've seen and heard really good things about it so far and there's not not many videos on it at all. Actually, there was like two videos when I looked up the product itself and none from a girly. So I'm excited to get this out for you guys and give my initial review. And then in the future, give like a final review. For people who have been asking about my books Palma, I did sell it, not because I didn't like it, because I just moved houses and I needed the money, unfortunately. So if anybody in the comments is asking about the books Palma, I just wanna let you guys know that I do still love it and I want to get the white one in the future when I can afford to get another one. But I figured since I was getting this e-reader, I didn't really need three e-readers. Like I really don't. So I'm gonna be comparing this to my Kindle Paperwhite because that is the only e-reader that I currently have. And my Kindle Paperwhite has been with me for years and years and it has never failed me. So I'm very excited. And I also got some accessories and I am going to show you the accessories and decorate the item because I don't get anything without decorating it. So I did get all of these things from Timu. Don't hate on me for getting stuff from Timu. These exact same items are on Amazon for triple the price. And I just know that they bought them wholesale. So I'm gonna buy them straight from the source because I'm not spending triple the amount of money for these items that are just for my e-reader. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around. I like doing the view where you guys don't really see my face. You just see the background and everything. And we are going to open it and I'm gonna show you guys the setup and go over the specs. The girly specs because I don't really know all that super detailed stuff. I'm here for the reading. I'm not really here for the actual technology itself. Okay, well my dog just jumped up on the bed and just peed on my brand new comforter while I was filming. So change of background because my dog wants to piss me off. You're telling me you legitimately had every single place in this house that you could pee but you jump up on the bed and pee right in front of me? Here it is. Okay, so this is the Big Me seven inch colored e-reader. Um, it is all mostly in Chinese letters. I know that this brand is more popular over in China and in that area. So they're trying to advertise more over here in the Western area. That is why I also wanted to review this because I wanna see if it's good for people in the United States when it comes to like good translations. Cause sometimes when you get this um, technology from overseas, translation from things are a little weird and the user interface can be a little odd. I am very excited to review this. I also wanted to say that Big Me did send me this for free, but they're not paying me to review it. They are allowing me to have my own opinions and my own views on everything. Anything that I say about this product, I'm not getting paid. They did send it to me though, which I do very much appreciate, it's very kind of them. It's the Big Me B751C. This is a colored e-reader, which I've never owned, so I literally don't even know what to look for. Go ahead and cut it open. It's a like soft covered case. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it yet because it's kind of like just, I don't really like black technology. It's kind of dull. I mean, I do have stickers that I'm gonna show you, but I don't know if it'll match the vibe that I'm going for, but it does have a thing to hold the pen, so I may use it. We'll see. That was in the first little box. I do have to say, packaging, very pretty. Love the white box, love the rose gold printing. It's, it's giving, it's, it's beautiful. And I just let it kind of come out like that. <laughs> Comes packaged. Here's the pen. Wow. So the pen wasn't here like this. I just kind of like knocked it out. 
and I believe the charger, the manual, and extra nibs to the pin are in here. Here's what it looks like straight out of the box without turning it on first. I'm not going to turn it on quite yet until I show the accessories that I bought. So here's the back of it. It's just like a normal material. It does collect fingerprints. It's kind of hard to see. It has this like this right here, I guess maybe to make better grip. I am left-handed, so I do typically like to have the book this way and hold it with my right hand. That's something that I ha even did with my um, Kindle Oasis when I had it. I hope that that's possible. I've just always preferred it like this. It's always more comfortable for me. It'll feel awkward for me holding it with my left hand for some reason. I don't know. It's a really nice size, actually. I need to go get my Kindle Paperwhite so I can compare the two sizes to you. So this is the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. And this is the Big Me colored e-reader. So you can tell the sizes. I wish I still had my Kindle Oasis so I could compare it to the Oasis because I know a lot of people would probably try to buy this over the Oasis because of the color and the buttons and everything. It's very similar. From what I remember with my Oasis, this is very similar to the size of it and very light. This is very light, this is heavy. You can kind of get an idea of the size. So it's really, really nice. I really like the size of it. So before I turn it on and do the process and everything, I'm going to show you guys the accessories that I bought for it. First, we have some pop sockets. So it actually came in a two pack. So this is going to be the grip for it. That's why I said I don't know if I want to use the case that they included because I want to stick the pop socket on it and just decorate it with the stickers itself. But also I do feel like it needs a bit of protection, which I do have this case for it, but so it came in a two pack, so I'll probably use one for something else eventually. Two little teddy bears and they're like plushies. And I got a USB-C dust plug here that's also a bear. As you can tell, we're going for a little teddy bear cozy theme with this e-reader. I try to do a theme for like everything, so. Then I have food themed stickers. I'm not taking them all out yet because I want to film a TikTok with me decorating and showing them. And then these are like teddy bear stickers. So we're going for like a food teddy cozy theme. And then of course here, we have the case that I'm going to use to protect it and also hold the pin because I know that there's no cases for this. Like I've already looked, this is such a new device or at least a newly coming popular device and there's not really any clear cases for it, any cases for it in general, other than like universal seven inch cases, which you can buy. There's not much out there for it. If there was a clear one, I definitely would have bought it. And if they come out with a clear one, I will definitely buy it. But I got this and it's the smallest one I could find that was really cute. It's like eight inches or 10 maybe. And I'm gonna use this to hold the pen, the charger, all of the stuff that I would use for my e-reader. And it would just fit in there perfectly, so. There's all that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm trying to get like both cameras <laughs> close enough where you could like see everything, but it's so hard to do them both at the same time. Me trying to be a TikToker and a YouTuber at the same time. It's just, I don't think this life is meant for me. Okay, so, so far the user interface is not like super quick. I'm not expecting it to be like amazing. Also for the price point, I feel like it should be pretty fast. So let me find. English. Press calibration button. Place the pen vertically on the screen. Pen nibs in contact with the screen. Press and hold two buttons at the same time. Oh, now it works. Okay. <laughs> I had to like calibrate the pen. I don't really know what all this is saying. I'll just do it later. Now I need to make an account. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so here's what it looks like straight out of the like startup screen. It did do a big system update, which took about 15 minutes. So it must have been a big one, I'm not too sure. So far, it seems like the way things are worded is pretty okay. There's some things that are worded a little bit weird. Um, I selected the app mode. They have a different mode where like everything is at the side, which I didn't even really look at that much. I might change it back just so I can see the like their user interface. So you can select the home screen style to be what's called office style. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So everything is like at the side here. And then there's like, you can take notes, library, storage, app center. And then that's where it shows everything, which I guess is not too bad either, but I don't think 
I prefer it like that. I'm not too sure what I prefer yet, honestly. As you can tell, it is a little laggy, not super fast, but I'm not expecting it to be like an iPad because it's not an iPad. Um, we can try to take some notes to see how well it writes. Once again, I am left-handed. So this feels awkward for the buttons to be over there. I don't know if I can switch it around. Let me see if it'll let me. Okay, let me do a rotation so I could hold it like this, but the apps still are down here. So I guess that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being able to rotate it. That's weird. Turn it back on and see if it'll... Nope. I don't really understand the point of it letting you rotate the screen if it stays like this. I don't think that they had in mind people being left-handed. This is just really uncomfortable and I'm definitely going to send that feedback to them. Writing is not too bad. Like it's not super slow. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's not perfect. I'm not using this device really as a writing tool. Like some people would get this device purely for the fact that they can write on documents and stuff. I'm gonna be using this device mainly to read and then to write and annotate all my books if I want to, but that's pretty much all I would be using it for. Um, I used to have the Kindle Scribe and that thing was like a power tool and it was super fast, but it was also very expensive. And the delay on this is not that bad. It might annoy some people, but I, I don't think it's too bad. So yeah, I did the rotating of the screen and then it just made it go back to normal. I don't think I like this office mode, so I'm gonna change it back to tablet style. I think that's just what I'm comfortable with. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit, try to see if I can add a background, um, download the apps that I want, and then we're gonna decorate the Kindle, and I'm also gonna try out some other things when it comes to the color, because the main reason that this thing is so awesome is because it's an e-reader with color. Like, you can see the different colors, which is really cool. And I also want to see what a video looks like on this. Okay, I just downloaded some apps and I also put a screensaver. So this is locked right now and you can see the faint hint of color. It's so cute. So far I'm really enjoying this. But now it's time to decorate. So enjoy this little snippet of me decorating. All right, so it's almost been an entire week since I opened up the Big Me uh, colored e-reader. And now I'm going to give some of my initial reviews. That's one thing that I've been dealing with. This case that is included sucks bad. Uh, the pen doesn't stay inside of it. So if you just put the pen in, it'll literally just, uh, like if you move it around just a little bit, it, it'll fall out eventually. I've lost it a couple times because it won't stay in here. So I need to try to figure out a better case situation for this. But since the product is not very popular, there's not any cases for it. Also the case that came with it, the magnet that holds it to the screen like is non-existent. So it doesn't stay on the screen at all. It's very just not, not good. It's not a good case, okay? I appreciate that it comes with a case, but if you're going to include a case with your product, include a good one. The rotation issue is still an issue. Uh, I contacted Big Me, I sent them videos of the issue that I was having, and at first they seemed very receptive to the issues that I was having, saying that they were gonna talk to their like person who fixes these issues. I don't know what the word is. And then afterwards, they basically just said like, 
all right, well, the issue you're dealing with, sorry, you're dealing with that, but like, we're not dealing with that, so sorry. So half of the apps don't rotate where I can have the buttons on the right side. And as you guys saw, uh, after I filmed my last video, like literally an hour later, I chopped my fingers open with a hedge clipper and now I can't use my left hand permanently. So I can pretty much only hold this with, well, not permanently, but you know, whatever. I don't know when I'll be able to use my left hand again. So being able to have the buttons on the right hand side is kind of a need for me currently. And also there are people out there who don't have both hands. There are people that need to be able to rotate this easy. And unfortunately, I am left-handed, so when I was trying to write, my hand kept pressing on the buttons, and unfortunately their notes app would not rotate correctly. So that's an issue I've been having. Battery is not bad. Um, I did a 24-hour readathon two days ago, and I was pretty much using this thing all day, and I hadn't charged it like a couple days beforehand, and it got down to like 30%. So with me using it all day long, and a couple days beforehand, it only went down to 30%, which my Kindle, that is one thing I will always say about my Kindle. I only charge this thing once every couple of months. Like the battery life on this is absolutely insane. The Kindle is not doing all of the things that this device is doing. This is showing color. You can run apps on this. There's a bunch of different things that this system is doing at one time. So I understand why the battery life goes down faster, totally but the battery life is decent. It's not as good as a Kindle, but it's pretty good. I did see that there's a Kobo color coming out and a lot of people are like, I'm going to get that because it's like $230 or something like that. Um, but it, you have to pay for the pen separately. So if people are trying to compare this to the Kobo color that's about to come out, the Kobo color, I've never owned a Kobo e-reader. I don't read books from Kobo. I, all of the books that I read are from Kindle Unlimited. So I feel like it would be pretty useless for me to get a Kobo just because all of the books I read are on the Kindle app. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful, the Kobo color. It looks really cool, but I just don't know if I'll really use a Kobo. Maybe in the future if they send me one or I have some extra money and I wanna try one, maybe one day. They did send this to me for free, so that's why I am trying this out. I do love it. I have not picked up my Kindle since I started using this Big Me e-reader. It feels really nice in the hands. I might just go ahead and put a pop socket on this physically to hold and just not put a case on it. Um, it's very light, very easy to travel with, and the refresh rate is eh. Sometimes it works really quickly, sometimes it doesn't. There is a little bit of a delay sometimes, you can see, um, and that's on extreme mode. Also an issue I was having is that on the e-ink center where you change how quickly things go, apparently you have to program it per each app according to Big Me. So if you have it on extreme mode on Webtoon and then you open up the Kindle app, it's going to switch back to the old settings and then you have to go back into the settings and change it again, which is a little tedious and I think that's stupid honestly i don't like that um there's definitely just some things about the product that i think that they could improve on um i charged this all the way up to 100 percent two days ago and i read this for about two hours yesterday and i've had it turned on and it is at 75 percent and it's on airplane mode so it is training battery pretty fast i don't know why it's draining the battery pretty fast but i will keep you guys updated in the future on the battery life and everything I do really enjoy the interface, like the user interface. I think it's cool. I wish I could put a wallpaper in the back of the apps. That would be really cool too. Make it more customizable. I think that's what people enjoy about these e-readers that have Android on them is that you can typically customize them pretty well. Like for example, with my background, you can customize this to look any way that you want. I think the speakers are good. The Bluetooth works good. I think the writing is not too delayed and it works pretty good too. And overall, do I think it's worth the money? I don't know. Honestly, I didn't pay for it. So I don't know if my opinion would be different if I actually paid for the device or not. I'm trying to be as honest as possible with you guys since I did get sent this for free. So on Amazon, it's $299 last time I checked. I believe that they're having a sale on the 19th, which is when I plan to upload this video. So the day you're watching this, I believe that they're having a sale on it on Amazon, but it is two day shipping. So 
you're paying a little bit more extra money getting it in two days compared to waiting for it to come overseas because I don't know if they have an American warehouse. I don't know because the package I got came from China. With that in mind, the translations of things are a little off-putting sometimes. It hasn't been too bad. I've watched some videos of like the old software and I feel like they've updated pretty well for people who speak English. I feel like they've done pretty well at that fixing those issues so I, I don't have an issue with that. I do wish that the pencil could like magnetize to the side of it or something because it's just a little awkward. At the moment I'll give this device three and a half out of five stars and this comes from just a reader perspective not coming from someone who knows a lot about specs and someone who knows a lot about writing tablets. I don't typically write much. I can't really write much now at all anyway. This is not really geared towards me when it comes to writing, but I have watched a couple of videos of other fellow YouTubers who have unboxed this and I really enjoy watching them annotate their books and stuff and it seems to work pretty well. I would have to say that the pen is very sensitive so when you're trying to scroll with the pen, the screen kind of goes out of control and it's like it can't handle that. So I tend to use my finger to scroll and click things. I don't really use this pen at all other than writing. That's just personal preference. So right now, three and a half out of five stars. I will be keeping this device and I will continue to use it because I do genuinely love the buttons. That is a big selling point for me when it comes to e-readers. I love the buttons. It's so easy to use. Overall, I'm very thankful that Big Me sent this to me. Thank you so much, Big Me, for sending this to me to review. But like again, guys, they are not paying me for this video. So this is just all my personal reviews. I will never lie. I will always be honest. I will have a link down below for this product. I'll put a link for Amazon and I'll put a link for their website. They are going to be affiliate links, which means if you do purchase it, I do get commission, but that's it. So wanted to stay authentic with that. But I'll have all my social medias down below. If you guys would like to follow me on TikTok, I'm trying to be a book talker. I'm trying to be a book talker, but mainly one that talks about e-readers because I feel like it's really fun. I really like talking about e-readers. It's like one of my favorite things to do because I love technology and I love reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.